Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Beyond Two Souls. This is part 7. I'm still a little bit under the weather, so yeah, excuse all the cracks and shit in my voice, but anyway. Um, yeah, I think the last part we got up to was we're still at the ranch and I think we're just like figuring out what the story is from, from memory, like the history of the, the ranch and things like that. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, okay. I'll go back <coughs> and keep looking. Oh, fuck no. <coughs> Where am I going back to? Can you see anything, Aiden? Yes, I can. Here we go. Once again, just preference as I do every single episode, I have played this game before, so it has been a while, so there are some things that I'm like, oh yeah, that happened. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I'm just playing it because it's fun. Too. Thanks, Aiden. It's like the fuck. <clears throat> Weird. This one has no talisman. Yeah. <clears throat> What's 
It's the one that was on your baby. Mother gave it to me. Like her mother before. <gasps> she speaks. She also gave me this. The talisman. Let's do this shit. for the white man. It brings spirit, <laughs> kill their enemies, and gain revenge. Turned against them. He was still hungry. Hungry for blood. <laughs> Yay, it so is back. He has come to take our lives. We're your ancestors. They're the guardians who protect the house, right? <laughs> they know they were robbed. They returned to protect us from the evil that they released. Once you brought the entity here, I mean, there's got to be some way to send it back to its <clears throat> own world. They used a ritual to open the passage. Right, I still that. remember the incantation, but the ritual is lost in the past. Not me. I saw. <clears throat> I saw the ritual in my vision. Look, I'll prepare it and you can help me with the incantation. <coughs> Hurry. He's coming. Okay. No pressure. <laughs> Jody, 
I got you. People have buried our dead there for many hundreds of years. For us, it's sacred land. I feel
<clears throat> These are the bones of your ancestors. I'm sure they would have wanted to be buried alongside their own people. Shimasani and his ancestors. He's happy where he is. Your decision is made. You're leaving. She thinks it's There's just things that I have to work out. Things from my past. I think I'm ready to face them now. You did a lot for us, Jody. For us and for our people. If you don't find what you're looking for, just come back here. You'll always find a home here. Okay. Miss you too, bud.
Ashki is gonna miss you. One day I'll come back and see you. This is how I do not with you. Some time, but I managed to get it going again. <laughs> Take it. It's yours. It's the least we can do to thank you. Oh, that was a long one. Alright. <clears throat> Sixty-eight uh, percent. I didn't explore the house. Ninety-two percent didn't repair the bike. They didn't know you could. Um, eighty-six percent told Jay the truth or tried to. Ninety-one percent completed the ritual. Fifty-four percent took a step outside. Twenty-seven percent rescued by ghosts. Seventy-four percent didn't save Paul. Oh, so you can. That sucks. What is ever percent kiss Jay before leaving? <laughs> Ooh, really? Ooh, yes. Oh, I love this section. Cool. Jody, Whoa. little princess. Oh. God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. <laughs> I love him. He's probably one of my favorite characters. A little sad. Oh, yeah. And lost. <clears throat> the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Aiden? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? <laughs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. <laughs> um. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No. Of course <laughs> not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known felon, now would it? Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most I'm powerful sorry. ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, <laughs> see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, it's but cool. I get to do what I want. <laughs> I did. <clears throat> what I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <clears throat> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Make a connection. Um. What else did you learn about her? <clears throat> Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. <clears throat> Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's locked up in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. I've got to go 
house here. <clears throat> Jody, I know how you feel, but well, now many people she's in a mental actions. hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. I would see you. Judy. I miss people watching this at night games. She's in a high security PPA facility, and you're wanted Dream by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Which makes sense being linked. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Be like me being linked to my own sister. <laughs> Look, you've taken a huge risk. <clears throat> Thank you, Cole. Too sweet. Hey. You didn't think I was gonna let you go alone, did you? <laughs> I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something no, you like I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. <laughs> Girl! You didn't come here to wait in no car? Cole, Cole, wait. Fine. <laughs> Come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in. <laughs> I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. You need correct authorization. Seventh floor, room forty-three. So far, so good. Nice. 
I said it. <laughs> now unlock the door. Come on. Thank you, Kanzo. I should be here. No. Just see you. <laughs> Bye. Shirts. On the camera. I think so. I think that's it. Oh. <clears throat> oh, he's too far away. Him. Oh wait. I know you can go through this. I can see you, Aiden. The creepy. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Where am I? Time space. So. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> I got it, I think. Where am I? Jody, you're there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. You may as well sleep through a fucking hurricane. Too. Um, <clears throat> yeah, sorry about if there's a streak that you can see. Tried to fix it, but um, that's just from my window. Oh, um, yeah, <clears throat> and get the hell out of here. We mustn't neglect like anything. We have to study the smallest detail. Well, it's people a big problem later on if we neglect the details. Guy. Oh, no, don't worry. I hope that. Thank you for not telling anybody. Is it see me? Hi. Hello. Is it at all? Just going around his eye and moving on. Forty three. I found it, Jody. Good job. You get all the cameras. Jody, I'm here. I need to get the cameras, dude. Jeez. Hello. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. 
Jody, she may have lost her mind. <clears throat> she might not even know you're there. Can you try something? Maybe you shouldn't go in. Take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. Oh, that's my baby! It's for your back! I've changed my mind! I want my baby! Get out of here! Girl. 
Reality. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jody. <clears throat> no. Fuck no, you gentle, beautiful face. Imagine, like, the person who designed this. 
<laughs> How many big statues do you want? Nathan? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Might actually be the last part. Maybe. Actually, no. I will do one more part because <coughs> this section is is quite long. What? Damn. Hey, Teddy Defoe. Hey, Dylan. The most powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Ethan! Oh. George, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. Oh, thanks. But at no, look at you, you look good. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. <laughs> they just didn't want to give you a chance to use Ivan. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora wasn't stable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. So you didn't really do anything? Where's Cole? He's at home, he's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. <laughs> Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? No. I tried to tell you. No. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? No. So, I looked okay. after you, loved you, tried to protect you as best as I could. I mean, just trying to feel. <laughs> oh my God. So now, you're, cute. you're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my okay. life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. Hello. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. Do that now. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. So why are you doing you it? have the power to stop this. Mm. <sighs> okay, well... Yeah, twenty percent didn't ask about Dawkins. Eighty-three percent uh, distracted the guard. Seventy-two percent in Nora's suffering. There's a fifty-one percent didn't ask about your father. Sixty-eight percent explored the explored the cells with Ivan. Ninety-eight percent took the the die. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode or part. I really hope you enjoyed it. I've got Nala here, the outro, <laughs> and as well as Shapiro throughout the video. So, got some little fun cameos. Um, anyway, really, really enjoying 
the replay of this game. I think this game is really great replay for me. Um, in terms of just like, I feel like each time you play through it, it's like you learn more about you know the story and the background and all that stuff. It's really cool. So I think the next part will be the last part of this series. So I get I'm thoroughly enjoying it and yeah. Um, let me know what your comments are of the game and stuff like that down below. And yeah, we look forward to the next part in the final part of the series. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the final part. Bye!